All right, welcome guys to your Java applet tutorial. Don't know which one, but we're gonna add some sound to our game because it's about time. And I should be getting pretty good at this specific tutorial because I've recorded it twice. Once without my microphone plugged in at all. Once I plugged my microphone in, but is recording off my system mic, which was stupid. And then thirdly, this time, hopefully it's uh, all set up properly. Let's jump in today's tutorial. First thing that we're going to need is some audio clips, some clips that are in the right format, and uh, I kind of show you guys how to do that in a tutorial on my bring back. If you guys watch that, it's cool. If not, I'll show you here in a second. First, we need a place to store these audio clips, so we're going to right click and on our source folder, hit new folder, and label this folder music, save that, and then as you can see, I have my three audio clips here. They take the extension AU for Java applets mp3s won't work a lot of things won't work that you think should work um, so make sure it's in the format AU I'm gonna just copy all three of these uh, sounds I have and drag it in it says do you want to copy these into the project yes I do um, so hit OK and then it will copy those audio files into your project or into this folder and that's exactly what you want again if you guys are tr struggling to figure out what uh, you know how to convert this AU if you're on Windows, I'm sure there's some free software that you can download and convert audio files into this format that you want. If you're on Mac, it's pretty easy. You can go into the terminal and convert pretty much any file into any other file uh, using terminal. It's pretty easy. Here's a quick tutorial. So search this on YouTube. It should be one of my tutorials and it'll walk you through it. Um, do exactly what's in the video example and that will be the same format that we need for a Java applet. All right, so we have our three audio clips into our file or into our project. So now the first thing that we're going to do is set up these audio files as static variables within our pictures class, which we should have again labeled like loading or resources instead of pictures because we've got music in there. But uh, anyways, we're going to set up these static variables and what the the music clips are going to be or I should actually say the audio clips are going to be his audio clip uh, type variable and we're just going to say music wind and bounce so those are my three audio clips I just want to show different examples well yeah kind of different examples probably could have done without the wind but I thought it was a pretty cool sound so might as well throw it in there alright so now what we have to do is set up these variables obviously so we're going to do that within our constructor and we're going to set up music and it's pretty simple it's exact same as setting up a reference to our image down here except instead of saying sp.get image we're going to say sp.get audio clip and again it's referring to the base URL which we set up here um, the base document and then also our path so we're going to refer to the music folder we just set up forward slash uh, buju.au and this is a track my buddy Nolan made he is uh, you know he's a friend of mine and he makes some audio for me and some music uh, occasionally he also he's in a in one of our VFX uh, videos like on my bring back VFX I think he's the fourth video Nexus that's Nolan so you guys can give him you know some props there if you want thought I'd give him a shout out because I uh, appreciate him making music for me and uh, then we're also going to set up our bounce variable this is going to be sp dot again get audio clip URL and whoops URL and also again music uh, forward slash bounce au and I got the bounce sound or we're gonna set up lastly uh, the wind as well but I got the bounce sound and the wind sound got that from soundbible.com right here they have a lot of good little clips that you can use royalty free um, give them a shout out as well so uh, I use that for the wind and the bounce so alright so we're gonna set up our wind variable to be wind and there we go we have all of our audio clips set up lastly what we have to do is play these audio clips so where do we want to play them well we're going to play them when our applet loads so we're going to go into the starting whoa I already have them close your eyes alright well actually I'll just clip that out um, go into the starting point class and down within our initialize method uh, we're, this is where we're going to set them up after we call our pictures constructor and also someone mentioned to me I wasn't thinking I think I had pictures p equal to b like uh, new pictures here um, we don't actually have to uh, you know set up this variable because we're never going to use it we can just call uh, the new pictures this 
um, and that will trigger again our constructor that we want to do that will set up our picture and set up our uh, audio files just by you know calling this command here pretty cool save you guys a couple you know strokes on your keyboard but after we call that constructor after our music has been set up we want to play it so we're gonna first play the the wind sound so we're gonna say pictures dot wind and then we have the dot play now play is only gonna play it one time once it's done it's done um, but for background music we actually want it to loop through and keep playing continuously as the person plays the whole game so for music what we're gonna do is say dot loop and that uh, obviously will loop this same song over and over as our player is getting to higher and higher levels within our game um, so there we go we have a wind and a music playing now you can barely I don't even think you'll be able to hear the wind really because the music is kinda louder but uh, you know there's two different ways that we can play audio clips lastly we want to set up our balance and we're gonna do that within our platform class again where we check for collisions down here and within these two if statements that's where we're gonna play our bounce clip so again it's gonna be from the pictures class that static variable we're gonna say balance dot play um, and it's only gonna play once for a bounce sound so there we go I mean it's pretty simple to integrate sound into your project again the hardest thing is getting it into the right format so if you guys added some audio clips and it's not playing most likely you don't have it in the right format again if you guys watched that one tutorial I showed you and you have a Mac you are gonna get it into the right format that you're gonna need for applets but uh, you know Windows users look for some free software or just do a Google search how to convert files into um, you know AU file and it should be good to go uh, let's save this, run it, make sure we have some sound, and uh, there you go. Got some sound as you can see, so that's pretty good. Our game's starting to look a little bit legit, and we have a bounce, so that's awesome as well. And uh, all right, guys, well, I guess I will catch you in the next tutorial, and have a good one.